Yes, uh, May was the worst month so far for the in the year for the BRBM. And what we saw is like all the main indexes are free falling this month. And we think the main main reason is that, uh, as you know, most of the companies on our market have a large French ownership, and we just have the new election um, in France for a new president. And so, for now, the market is waiting to to see what will be the next, the new balance, and then investor will be worried or optimistic. But for now, it's a, it's, it's a just a free fall. And that therefore also means whatever happens in the Eurozone and if there can be any resolution to that will have a direct impact on how the BRVM performs going forward. Yes, I think so. And we just have to wait a few weeks to see. Because how you know, uh, not only large, uh, most of the companies have a large ownership, uh, are French, but um, the commodities too is really linked to how we're going to perform. And for now, you, you know that the situation in Europe is really uncertain, and we have to wait a little more. But we just see that the, the most of them, like the BRBM blue chip, are really doing bad lately. Yes, talk to us about blue chips a little longer. How, you're saying they're doing badly, but which are the particular highlights there? Okay, we can talk about the, the Sonatel. Sonatel is a, it's a Senegalese um, telco. And we see that usually, like years in, years out, uh, Sonatel is making up to 50% of the trading vo volume. And since uh, the, the beginning of the year, he's been going down. We start the year at 125,000, and today we are at 114,000, and that's that's bad because usually we, the, if we look at the last five years, the stock price was up at least um, tri triple digits growth, and today is, is going down. So Sonatel is, is the same for the other stocks in the BRPM, and uh, half of the Sonatel is owned by France Telecom, and so that's, I will, I, I will say that's the same reason. What is your outlook for the BRVM this month as we finish up? So f just for now, it's going the same way. It's going down. We we have the same trend, and I don't know how low it will go. But at least we have all the agriculture stocks, and they're doing better. Agriculture and finance stocks. Why are these the ones to look out for? Because uh, at the end of 2011, the commodity the commodities price were going down, but we see a rebound since the beginning of the year. And the most of them are rubber and palm oil. And we know that the demand is still strong globally, and that will be sustaining the price.